Good, good morning everybody. What's going on? It's me, Jessica. It's Transformation Tuesday. And on top of that, let's get this camera steady. There we go. On top of that, it's day 115 of our motivational videos today. Once again, just thank you for watching again today and every day. And thank you for the work that you're putting in on yourself and for supporting me and letting me support you in this constant like circle of support and positivity and motivation that we got going on here through social media. It's a beautiful thing. We're going far, you guys. Like It's just one person, one step, one day at a time. All right little things every single day, continuing your daily projects, you know, from one day to the next, to constantly get better, to constantly sharpen your saw, your mind, to constantly, you know, change the files that have been programmed into your mind since you were young, you know, raising the bar for your money blueprint, for your relationship blueprint, for your happiness blueprint, for all those blueprints of your life, of your subconscious mind, we are raising the bar, okay? We are trying to be wealthy individuals, we're trying to be successful, we're trying to bring value to the world, to, you know, our future families, to our current families, uh, and to ourselves. And it's just, it's really amazing what our generation is doing as we are awakening into, you know, our maturity. We're realizing that we need to grow up. You know, we're still young, but we're going from young people to young professionals, not just in my business, but, you know, our generation as a whole. You know, there's a lot of people that still, you know, it's sad because, you know, you ask people, especially in my town, what do you do for fun? Uh, and it's either get wasted or, you know, they get high. And it's just really kind of sad and pathetic, but it's like there's nothing else here, okay? So thank God for this opportunity because... It was brought to me. Now I get to bring it to this town, to this depressed town where it just sucks people into this depression, this loneliness, this live off the government and <laughs> smoke your life away kind of city. Like it's just sad. And I am just so blessed. It's, you know, I finally realized why God, you know, had this the situations in my life happen. Where, you know, I was young and I was, I think, 11 years old. I was in sixth grade. Came home. House was boarded up. You know, mom's ex-husband wasn't taking our house payment money. Wasn't paying our bills that we didn't know of. And he was actually spending it on drugs himself. You know, right underneath my mom's nose. You know, while she was at work. While she was busting her ass. And <sighs> that happened. But then... You know, then I had to move, and then I had to move to Chicago and live with my dad for a little while. I lived there for two years, experienced a lot of crazy things, and then, you know, I got to move back with my mom, but she had moved when she, you know, remarried and ended up in Michigan, and I ended up in Flint, and I ended up going to high school, and, you know, I went to Michigan State for a little while, but I realized I'm a homebody, and, you know, I love being around my mom, and so I came home, you know, went to medical school medical school, um, you know, just a medical assistant program, uh, graduated with that, uh, didn't find a job in that, can you believe that, and um, here I am, you know, I was lost, I was just working for a long time, you know, managing a 7-Eleven, and then in our town, all the 7-Elevens got shut down because they were being robbed so much, and, you know, that hurt me really bad, and now finally I got this job, and it's working, but I just am so blessed for this opportunity because it woke me up and now I can wake other people up and save them from the same kind of stuff as me. You know, I had, I graduated with honors in high school. I graduated with a 3.7 when I got my medical assistant certificate. You know, I'm very smart. I'm very intelligent. So why don't I have a job with the degrees that I have? It's just the economy. Okay. So thank, just thank God for Vima, you guys. And that's enough for my tangent today. Going off of our video from yesterday with your money blueprint, you know, I really want you guys to think about changing your files and looking at, you know, how you, it was presented to you when you were younger. Um, and just remember this. This is our quote of the day, okay? Building wealth has 100% nothing to do with money. It has 100% everything to do with you and your mindset towards money. Okay, 
So that's what I mean. Sit back eval and reevaluate how you have your perception of money. You know, do you look at money as a bad thing? Like, do you look because you're just so far in debt or, you know, you heard your whole life that you can't afford these things or, you know, these are neat, uh, wants and not needs and, um, you know, the whole you can't have money and be happy too. You know, you, or you always hear, you know, people say, people who don't have money say, do you see how unhappy, you know, people with money are? You know, and that's true. Some people with money are unhappy, but that's just because they turn into ugly people and they end up letting money take over their lives. You guys, we got to learn how to make money work for us and not work for the money, okay? And make that your bonus in life. Money should be a bonus. It shouldn't be your main priority, okay? Don't concentrate on money so much. When you do, think in abundance and not in lack and just worry about the people, okay? Worry about the value that you're bringing the people that you meet on a day-to-day -day basis, all right? So, it's Transformation Tuesday, and it's more than just transforming your body so that you're happy with your physical appearance today. We need to transform our minds so we can transform our lives, all right? That's the goal. Have a great Tuesday, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye.